I said I be in my back hole I tell my shit don't mean to brag though And I see why these niggas mad though They say I'm an asshole And I'ma show them why I spaz for And I'ma get these niggas facts ho I tell my shit because I gotta Mad because I gotta I ain't even wanna so I treat her like an option I just seen a lot of hate but didn't even bother niggas Gossiping like women man This shit was kinda awkward man they capping This shit ain't a movie why they acting Think this shit was sweet just like some candy Yo, yo, what's up guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's your boy Tranky Kid07. How y'all doing, man? For my new subscribers, what's poppin'? And for the one that always been there since day one, mad love, man. I appreciate y'all for real, for real. How y'all doing out there, guys? I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. Thank God. You know, um, thank God for everything that you know that we got right now. You know, count y'all blessings. You know what I mean? Every day is not promised to us. Count your blessings, man. And keep praying, man. Always, always pray, man. Never forget to pray, guys. But today, I want to do something quick. The other day, I was, you know, cleaning my bike up and all that. And I saw, you know what I mean? I was cleaning my rims up. And I seen the hub, you know, it was dirty. It was black. It was filthy. And I was like, you know, I want to get that part. But how? How am I going to get there? Because my rims is 144 spokes. And it was kind of difficult, you know, to clean that area. So I was just thinking, I'm like, how am I going to, you know, clean my hub? You know what I mean? Ain't nothing in there that can really get it. So I needed something, I needed something real, real, you know, real, you know, real small, real skinny to, you know, go under there. So I had an extra pair of rims, you know what I mean? Some rims that um, I had laying around and I took off, you know, one of the, the, the spokes from it. You know what I mean, I think this is a pretty good idea. I don't know. I don't know any other idea at the moment. This is the one I had made up quick, you know. So I grabbed a spoke from one of my rims that I had laying around and I put um a tissue. Hold on, let me show y'all right now. So I grabbed a napkin, piece of napkin, real small piece, and I put it around the you know the spoke, if y'all can see. Put it around it with some tape. You know, and when then I show you, I show you right now. You know what? I show you. This is the baby I was cleaning. So in there it was real dirty. You see how clean it is? It was very, very, you know, very dirty. So if y'all can see, well, y'all can see it. I went in there and just, you know, just lightly. You know, cleaned it, went back and forth. You know, that's how I cleaned it. And I went to the other side to get the other side and in the middle, you know how it is. Just went in, real good cleaning. What I used was a little bit of water and some awesome, you know, a little disgreaser. That's all I used and some water. You know what I mean? It did the job. You know what I mean? It really did the job. It cleaned it. You see how clean it is? You do something, you know what I mean? A nice, awesome with water degreaser. Spray it on and clean it. And the way I dry it, you got to dry it off, man. You can't just leave your, your rims wet. You know what I mean? I learned from, you know what I mean? I learned from my mistakes, man. Now I'm taking care of my babies. You know that... You know, you know what it is. You leave water on metal, it gets rust. You know what I mean? So I try not to have any water, you know what I mean, residue or anything like that. So I used, you know, a compressor or a leaf blower. You know what I mean? Just to get all that water out. Any hidden water. You don't want no hidden water. It's going to make that rusty. You know what I mean? So you want to try to get it with a compressor, blow air into it with a compressor or a leaf blower. You know? You know what I mean? For one of your spokes. Any anything that's this skinny, you feel me? So this is from I saved this up because I was like, oh, I want to make a video. And it was already too late, you know what I mean? But this is how they're gonna come out. It, it was dirty. My hub was real dirty. You know, all you gotta use is this. You know what I mean? You got rims laying around, 
you know, this is the best way that I know how to do it. You feel me? I think it was perfect. You know what I mean? Like, just got in there quick. Boom, 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 boom. Cleaned it, and that's it. So, you know, something quick and easy, you know, to maintain your, you know, your lowrider bikes. You know what I mean? Because you want to maintain those. You don't want to just have them all like that. You feel me? You want to maintain them babies and keep them clean. Make them last, you know what I mean? Make them last long, you know what I mean? If you want to sell it in the long run, it's going to be, you know what I mean? You, you selling it well maintained, you feel me? You selling it taken care of, you know? So that's what I want to share with y'all guys, something quick and easy that I learned quick. You know, God bless y'all, man. Um, keep your head up and keep praying, man. Never, never, never forget to pray, man. Keep praying. Always have that relationship with God. Like I always say, man. God bless y'all and keep your head up, man. For real.